So guys, if I look at my comment section from last few weeks, I have been getting a lot of questions on dual cameras. How dual camera works? Are they better than single rear facing cameras? What are the advantages of dual cameras? And whenever these guys are pu putting their finger on secondary camera, they are not showing any response and what are their future. So in this video, we'll discuss about all of these things. So guys, this is Sai from Tech It Weeks and let's get started. So guys the first question was how it works so guys basically it depends upon implementation to implementation by the manufacturer there are various implementations of dual cameras the first implementation was done in 2011 when HTC Evo 3D and LG Optimus 3D were launched with the 3D cameras at the back these were having two dual uh, rear facing cameras actually they were having some different alignment but they were having the same sensors and also guys the display was actually actually 3d and whenever we used to click photos or videos which were in 3d we can see those results in the display without any use of glasses so that was the first implementation by LG and HTC but after that we used to see with some single rear facing cameras but in 2017 we have seen the HTC one m8 which was having dual cameras again that device and that implementation was of depth sensing so what happens in depth sensing is that one primary camera is used for taking photographs and secondary camera is used to take some very good depth information and when we click some pictures with using that camera as if the two pictures have been clicked and in the background of one is the primary camera which has clicked our picture and the secondary camera has taken the depth information and when those images are combined we used to see that blurring effect in the background so that was depth sensing and these can be seen in HTC One M and also devices like cool one owner 8 is having those features they are having some more features which we will talk a bit later so guys if we move to the third implementation and that is the wide angle lens so there are two lenses again two cameras again one is the primary camera just like our normal smartphones it used to do all of the camera work but while we are clicking on one icon or one button it used to get moved to wide angle view so that one camera on LG V20 or G5 which has a field of view of 135 degrees actually really wide something like a fisheye camera so it basically do not merge the image with the primary camera but it is an option a fun little option to have in your smartphone so if you want to capture wide field of view you can do that with the LG G5 or with the implementations like this so it will basically not improve your picture quality but it is uh, very helpful in taking some uh, breaths taking shorts and some landscape or portraits or movements which you have to, which you need to capture a lot of field of view so guys the next implementation is rgb and monochrome and this is my favorite this can be seen on huawei p9 and owner 8 so in this we have two lenses one is rgb lens our normal lens which we are having in our smartphones and scan uh, secondary lens which is just a monochrome lens because it is a monochrome lens it is a black and white lens so it need not to pick a lot of colors its dynamic range is better it can be uh, having a, a lot of detail so while we are shooting some pictures it can capture uh, pictures from two different lenses and the two pictures are merged together to produce a very good result and guys camera of Huawei P9 was actually really good and the dual camera was set up there was helping a lot so guys let, now let's move to another implementation of dual cameras and that is telephoto lens this can be seen on iphone 7 plus so iphone 7 plus were having two lenses one is 28 millimeter oas 12 megapixel lens other is 56 millimeter oas lens so this was uh, helping in taking 2x optical zoom and with 2x optical zoom we can zoom in 2x without loss of any detail it was also having that portrait mode which helps in depth sort of depth sensing and producing a very good looking bokeh effect so in terms of implementation iphone 7 plus is also really good and guys the second questions was are they better than single rear facing cameras 
I would say dual cameras are good but not better if the implementation of single camera is uh, is really good like on Galaxy S7 or on Pixel devices then the cameras would be really great if a smartphone is having dual cameras it is a fun tool to have in our smartphones I would say and third question was that whenever we are putting fingers on the secondary camera it is not showing on screen so basically what happens is that the secondary camera is being operated by our smartphone in the background so while you are putting finger on the secondary camera so suppose this is the device itself and whenever i am putting finger on this one so it will not show on screen because it is uh, taking the advantage of secondary camera in background you will not see in real time so guys the next question was that what are the advantages of having a dual camera setup i would say there are currently not a lot of advantages yes you can do that refocus and stuff change the aperture and in mid-range devices like cool one they help you take better shots but uh, i would say we have not exploited this thing very much it will be improved in future but as of now we can have some more effects and guys the last question was that what are the future of dual cameras with dual cameras we can have more effects in our smartphones it can help in virtual reality we can take some 3d photographs and 3d videos if it is implemented in a better way and also guys we can take some wide panoramas without use of any software so guys this was my video on dual cameras if you like the video please hit that like button and also guys subscribe to our channel because it will motivate us a lot if you have any further more questions and topics regarding this series you can always mention in comment section down below and if you haven't said still subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel and also enable the notification so that whenever we'll upload a new video you'll get to know about it if you want to follow us on our social media network all the links are in description box down below thanks for watching and we will meet in next one